Hello there, and welcome back to another one of my videos. Right, in this episode, we're going to be doing a little bit more work on the TS1. So, it's going to be interesting, a little bit of a uh, piston tuning. Let's go and have a look. Right, so what we have, as we've just said, we've had to change some of the uh, shimming on this barrel now, because the stroke's different. So we've gone up on the head gasket. That is now a 2.5 mil. And I've just tried it with a one mil extra on the top. I've got two mil on the base gasket, which I've left the same. So the base gasket I've left the same. So what that's done now is advanced my transfer and exhaust port by one mil. So we now got more uh, port duration, as well as a longer stroke. So now we have to make up the difference on the top. So we've got to put more on the top. Now I've tried it with the 2.5 and the one mil. And what it is, it's I'm getting, just uh, squash this. And we're getting, in some places, 1.05. But in other areas, it's going to 0 0.99 and 0 0.98. So I'm just under the limit there. I don't, uh, I don't want to run that close to one mil. So one mil exactly all the way around. Okay, we'd have got away with it probably, but I'd like to be running about 1.1, 1.2. So we're going to have to up again. So I've got a now a 1.2 mil gasket to go with this one. So we've got the 1.5 and the 1.2. Uh, sorry, 2.5 and a old 1.2, which I'm going to have to clean up and give that a nice clean when I finally fit it. Right, we've got new solder wire inside, and we're now just whizzing this down a little bit, and we're going to take another check. Okay, let's see what we've got. Uh huh. 1.23. Yes, I like that. That's good enough. I'll say that's safe. By the time it's really torqued down properly, you're probably on about 1.2. So I think that is going to be excellent. Right, here's our piston position on bottom dead center, right? That is where it is. I've lifted it up and positioned it so we can get the piston exactly where it's gonna sit at bottom dead center. So now you can see that the skirt here overlaps the skirt on our barrel. Now the skirt on my barrel is matched to the casing. Okay, so that is now obstructing flow. And this part of the skirt is also obstructing some flow. We need to profile that so it aids flow into the port and we need to cut this back. So therefore we're increasing flow velocity into our transfer port. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blue round it. right down to where my port starts. Do as much as I can. Not bothered about this blue, I can take it off with a little bit of trike or something. I hope my head wasn't in the camera. It probably was. <laughs> 
So what I've done is blued that, and then I'll just get a tiny little scriber and I'll just mark it now around very lightly. Don't want to damage too much. It's just to mark it. Right, as you can see on this side, it's not coming into the skirt. So the only bit that we need to profile is this bit here that goes down into the port. Another thing I've done is I've also widened the exhaust port more than it was before to increase power. So we're gonna just check now, I'll put a little mark for our cordial width. Just mark that up. Right, I've put my other glasses on so I can see a bit better. Uh, right, we've marked up the cordial width now. Let's get this really accurate if I can. On the widest point of our exhaust port, which is there. And there. Okay, we've measured the piston on the, the points that I marked out at our widest point, and we got 48. Point th Hello, I got 48.38 millimeters. So, cordial width that works out to be 69.1 percentage of bore, 69% of bore. So, that's pretty wide. That's pretty wide. The reason I can get away with that is because of the shape of my port, because it's easier on the rings. And a big thanks there to one of my subscribers who's sending me some three bond over. You know who you are. Big thanks goes out to you, my friend. Okay, we're gonna make a few modifications to the piston. We're gonna cut this window out bigger and in the position it didn't line up correctly with our uh, boost port so we're moving it over and we're going to now line it up with our boost port so because our reed valve comes down here and blocks the flow to our uh, our port we're going to cut this away so it flows through the piston and into the port better so that'll improve that a little bit on the sides of the piston as you can see that's where my uh, transfers are lining up on the piston I can't cut that all away, obviously, because you'll have nowhere for your circlip to go and you'll weaken too much the piston around the gudgeon pin. So all we're going to do is we're going to flow. We're just going to take this, right, this sharp edge off and we're going to radius in and flow this in. And the same on the other side. We're going to take that part of the skirt out and then the rest will just be cut down and flowed. So that's what I'm going uh, gonna to do now. Desired shape now, so uh, we're gonna uh, just take this out of the vice and do it by hand here now with a little barrel sander and just polish it up a bit. Okay, that's that first bit done. Now we need to move on to the sides.
that side done, as you can see, this is flowing it into the port. Shame about the Goodwin pin. If that would have been higher up the piston, we could have got more. But unfortunately, it's not any higher. On the standard pistons, the Goodwin pin is far lower down, like this, about seven mil lower down actually. So. Uh, that's why you've got big cutaways on the tri on the sides of your, your piston, on the standard pistons, trying to aid flow into the ports. That's the position it sits in in the barrel. As you can see, that's the difference it's made. It's actually created a bigger transfer port, as in, you've probably seen that in the Quattrini piston, far more exaggerated, where they've actually used the narrower Gudgeon pin and, and created bigger uh, transfer port area. But we can do a little bit at least, and that does help. That makes your transfer port area much bigger. Okay, so I hope you like the work on the piston. Interesting stuff. Every little bit helps. So don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. See you all later.